hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the quantity of cement sand and aggregate required for the nominal concrete mix we'll be taking two mixes that is one is to two is to four and one is to three is to six mix for these mixes density of cement is given as 1440 kg per cubic meter density of sand is given as 1600 kg per cubic meter and density of aggregate is given as 1450 kg per cubic meter First, we will be taking this nominal mix of 1 is to 2 is to 4. So, ratio for this concrete mix is 1 is to 2 is to 4. It means if we are taking one part of cement, we will be taking two parts of sand and four parts of aggregates of same size. The first thing which you will do, you will find the volume of the material required in one cubic meter of concrete. Volumes of material that is for cement, sand and aggregate in one cubic meter of concrete always remember this that the dry volume of concrete mixture is greater than the wet volume and the ratio of this dry volume to the wet volume uh, in concrete is 1.54 so if we have to make uh, this one cubic meter of wet concrete we have to take 1.54 cubic meter of dry materials that is cement sand and aggregate so first volume of cement required this will be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 4 because the cement part is 1 and total portion is 7 so it is 1 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 4 and you have to multiply this with 1.54 and you will get the volume of cement required for this mix which is 1 divided by 7 into 1.54 which is 0 0.22 cubic meters. This is the volume of cement required to make one cubic meter of wet concrete similarly volume of sand this will be two divided by because the ratio of sand is two so it will be two divided by one plus two plus four into 1.54 which is two by seven into 1.54 and this will be 0 0.44 cubic meters volume of aggregate required this is 4 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 4 into 1.54 which is 4 divided by 7 into 1.54 which is equal to 0 0.88 cubic meter. So this is the volume of cement, sand and aggregate required to make 1 cubic meter of wet concrete. Now after finding the volume you can now find the weight of these materials required to make 1 cubic meter of concrete. So simply you have to multiply this volume with the density of the material and you will get the weight of this material. So if the density of cement is 1440 kg per cubic meter it means the weight of the cement required will be density multiplied, the, uh, multiplied by the volume. So it will be 1440 into 0.22 which is 316.2 kg or you can divide it by 50 since one cement bag uh, contains 50 kg of cement so it will be 6.32 bags are required to produce the one cubic meter of wet concrete density of sand this is 1600 kg per cubic meter so weight of sand required will be density multiplied by the volume this is equal to 1600 into 0.44 which is equal to 704 kg Similarly, density of aggregate, this is 1450 kg per cubic meter. So, weight will be 1450 multiplied by the volume. So, it will be 100, sorry, 1276 kgs uh, of aggregates are required to make 1 cubic meter of wet concrete. This was for the mix 1 is to 2 is to 4. Now, we will find the volume uh, that is the quantity of cements and aggregate for 1 is to 3 is to 6 mix. Ratio for this concrete mix is 1 is to 3 is to 6. It means if we are taking one part of cement, we have to take three parts of sand and six parts of uh, aggregate of same size. So for, uh, again, you have to find the volumes of the material required. Dry volume to wet volume ratio is 1.54. It means that if we have to make one cubic meter of wet concrete, we have to use 1.54 cubic meter of dry materials that is cement, sand and aggregate. Again, volume of cement required will be that is the ratio of the cement divided by the sum of the total ratio into 1.54. So it will be 1 divided by 1 plus 3 plus 6 into 1.54 which is equal to 1 divided by 10 into 1.54 and this is equal to 0 0.154 
cubic meters of cement is required to make one cubic meter of wet concrete similarly volume of sand required this is three that is which is the ratio of the sand divided by the sum of the total ratio into 1.54 so it will be 3 by 10 into 1.54 which is 0 0.462 cubic meters of sand is required to make one cubic meter of wet concrete volume of aggregate required this is ratio of the aggregate which is 6 divided by the sum of total ratio which is 10 into 1.54 which is equal to 0 0.924 cubic meters of aggregate is required to make one cubic meter of wet concrete after finding the volume you can now find the weight simply you have to multiply the density into the volume and you will get the weight so again density of cement is 1440 kg per cubic meter it means the weight of cement required will be 1440 into 0 0.154 which is 221.76 kgs of cement if you divide it by 50 you will get 4.44 bags density of sand is 1600 kg per cubic meter it means the weight of sand required will be 1600 into vo a volume which is 0 0.462 cubic meters so this will be 739.2 kgs of sand are required to make one cubic meter of uh, wet concrete and uh, density of aggregate this is 1450 kg per cubic meter multiply it with the volume so 1450 multiplied by 0 0.924 this is equal 1339.8 kgs of aggregates are required to make one cubic meter of wet concrete so this was how to find the weight of cement sand and aggregate for this one is to three is to six mix if you uh, if you want to compare these two results that is for one is to two is to four mix cement in kgs is required 316.2 whereas in one is to three is to six mix we require only 220 1.76 kgs sand for 1 is to 2 is to 4 mix for 1 cubic meter is required as 704 kgs whereas in 1 is to 3 is to 6 mix we require 739.2 kg and aggregate for 1 is to 2 is to 4 mix uh, in kgs we require 1276 kg and for 1 is to 3 is to 6 mix we require 1339.8 kgs of aggregate to make 1 cubic meter of wet concrete so this is how you can find uh, the uh, weight of cement sand and aggregate uh, for the uh, preparation of 1 cubic meter of wet concrete this is an empirical method okay it is a quick method to give us estimate about the quantities of cement sand and aggregate required for the nominal mix design i hope this solution video was clear and you learned something new if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned